<laughs> yeah, Baylor got it easy. This is Locked on Baylor. You are Locked on Baylor, your daily podcast on the Baylor Bears, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Good Monday, everybody. Welcome to Locked On Baylor. Drake Toll alongside Brandon McKinnon from Our Daily Bears. Cameron Stewart from Sports Illustrated's Inside the Bears. And thank you for making Locked On Baylor your first listen every single day. Oh, boys. Look, March is not easy. March is not easy. But your fighting Baylor Bears do not have to play Iowa State. They do not have to play Marquette. They don't have to face Kansas. They've got Arizona, who's big but doesn't play big. Creighton, who's old but inconsistent. Alabama who three players contributed in killing another person. <laughs> can this we, can we, can we push that yeah, a little bit yeah, more this that's, week? That's like we need to get that's this, uh, we need to get this more into the public eye. I don't of, think enough people know about this. Of all the places the bears could be Brandon, we will start with you. I am happy. <laughs> I'm also happy. However, you know, I think we, we, we bring up a good point about Alabama because clearly the nation doesn't care that three players no, were most involved, analysts the, the don't. top the analysts... overall seed. But that's what's crazy is like I think all three of us feel like much better about our quadrant of the bracket than literally any other one, and we're with the yeah. top overall seed, which is which is strange. Yeah, Cam, are you same board here? Or you don't like it? I am so on board with the Alabama thing. If that's what we're going with, um, the murder's bad. Ten commands. I mean, I do. I not a huge fan of it. Not gonna lie. Uh, John Morant is stepping away from his professional team because he brandished a gun in a video, which should happen. Should happen. Not and... to dive down that rabbit hole, but did you also see the other photo that came out from that night with John Morant? <laughs> that was not great. A lot that of money in great. that one. But look, we don't have yeah. we don't have an Instagram video of Brandon Miller with the gun. We just have police just, reports just that he text. brought the loaded handgun to a murder scene. That's all. That's all. I don't know if that's enough to go off of. Um... I do feel pretty good. And that's obviously like curbed good because of how I think a lot of us felt after Thursday, which was very much not good. And I don't know about y'all, but I was like first weekend at the max. Like yeah. I'm not saying they're going to get upset in the first round, but I wouldn't have been horrifically surprised had they just thinking about Thursday and now looking at it, I'm like, mm, I said it. I said it. This is maybe not a great thing, but I'm a little bit back on the bandwagon. A little bit back on the bandwagon. I would agree. I we get, And here's what we'll do to format the show. We'll get to UC Santa Barbara in a bit. But first, just the general reaction of last night's bracket announcement. And uh, to, to brush through it quickly, I am of the firm belief that the West, the bottom right of your screen, if you're on YouTube, is the toughest is the toughest region. Kansas, as good as they are. Arkansas and Illinois, both formidable opponents. St. Mary's, I think, will be upset by VCU. UConn, Iona's coached by Rick Pitino, and I think UConn's a national title contender. TCU's played good basketball. Gonzaga and Grand Canyon, that could be a first-round upset because I love Grand Canyon so much. UCLA, really good out of the Pac-12, going to the Midwest. I don't want Baylor to have to play Iowa State. They avoided Iowa State. Texas, Colgate. Penn State, Texas A&M, that pod is a pod of death. I think Colgate, way underseeded at 15. Drake and Miami, an interesting matchup. Over to the south, that's where Baylor is. You see Santa Barbara, a great first-round matchup. Creighton's tough in round two. Arizona doesn't play that big. Virginia just lost one of their best players. I don't think Alabama's the best one seed overall. Baylor's killed West Virginia. The South's an easy spot to be in comparatively. And then finally, the East, Purdue. Who's going to guard Zach Eady for Baylor? Not Flo Thamba. You avoid them. You avoid Memphis, who plays really fast. Duke is good. Oral Roberts is old. Duke's Everybody. Hot. Everybody loves Oral. Kentucky, Providence, <laughs> a Big East team is going to give somebody problems. Kansas State has beaten Baylor twice, and Marquette would kill the Bears. I, I, I want to again. reemphasize again that this is the best spot Baylor could be in because of the juggernauts they avoided. However, Brandon, Creighton is right there at your doorstep, and that at least scares me. Dude, so I he's all about Creighton right now. I mean, they were like a preseason top 10 team. A lot of people thought that they were a legitimate, you know, mid-major national title contender, which still may be true, but I'm not 
automatically penciling them in over NC State. NC State has a ton of athletes that I think was going to have Creighton respectfully in hell because they cannot defend on the perimeter. Heck. And heck, excuse me. Um, and also, NC State has a incredible big man. Yes, he is built like your classic offensive lineman that's playing on his junior varsity basketball team. That's neither here nor there. But I think NC State has a good chance to upset Creighton. Either way, I think Baylor matches up fine with either team. Cam, I'm is there another Creighton. team that's right here in this spot with Baylor that you that you like that you're more scared of than a Creighton? Uh, I mean, no, uh, no. Did you guys I mean, watch Virginia, Missouri play? Sorry, Cam. Are, are we just talking about first weekend or just in the in the region overall? For first weekend, but region overall, I think Creighton's in my top two. I have and I have seen Missouri play recently. They're and nice. I don't want to play them, but yeah. I kind of have them right there with Creighton. Yeah. Same with Virginia. You mentioned uh, losing one of their best players, and they did beat us earlier in the year shooting like a billion percent from three and having all those, uh, like having 20 more free throws than Baylor. Yeah. Um, different different team on both sides now, maybe for better or for worse. Um, so, yeah, I mean, first things first, I'm not wild about playing Creighton, potentially. I'm a little bit higher on them beating NC State than Brandon is. But... I don't love that. Um, they match up pretty well just by the numbers. I think Baylor's just going to need, like, this is kind of the case with any game they play in the NCAA tournament. Baylor's really going to need the threes to drop uh, against Creighton, I think. Just pulling up some stats here because I'm, I'm a big stats guy. Uh, one thing that I always look for in the NCAA tournament, rebounding percentage. Some of the best rebounding teams, we talked about it all year, um, always, always make the Final Four win the national championship. Not a great case for Baylor, actually. Um, and so in the first round, it matches up pretty well, but Creighton total rebounding percentage in the top 50, that's 48th in the country for perspective, Baylor's 94th. Yeah. So don't that's exactly weird. love that. Again. That's, that's why the shots need to, need to drop. Like you can't, play, give, can't give, can't give, I know, I know. Well, I know. And Baylor's big men did have thing. zero rebounds combined. So I'm thinking the same thing about UCSB in terms of the true shooting percentage, Brandon, yeah. which we talked about a little bit off air. They can really shoot the rock. They don't shoot at a high volume, but they have one of the best true shooting percentages in the country. In fact, they're higher than Baylor. Um, but that I think is more like, who are they playing defensively? Yeah. Like I know Baylor's not what they were two years ago or last year defensively, but it's a totally different game playing in the Big 12. We mm -hmm. saw that with Gonzaga in the championship a couple years ago. It's a lot more physical. It's Go a lot off. more in your shirt, especially in the NCAA tournament. So maybe that's me being a little bit more optimistic, Cam, here, and that Baylor's going to turn it up a little bit defensively. They're limited. They're limited at this point of the season, but – I think they match up well with UCSB because a they're a better team. Let's not get it twisted. This is three versus fourteen, but b UCSB has not played a defense like Baylor, and if they did, it was in the non-con three months ago. Yeah, well, I'm way happier to be playing UCSB than like a Colgate or oh yeah, quite frankly, like any other team above that twelve line. Um, do we want to see UT quick aside? Sorry. Do we want to see yeah, UT no. get upset by Colgate? Because that could happen. Or would we, would we like for the programming UT versus Houston and that one, two elite eight? Cause that could be an absolute or battle. I think that could be like game of the tournament type. You're stuff, overlooking UT and Texas A&M. That will be yeah. great too. In round yeah. two. That will be great too. In round two. I, do, we, do we want all of that or do we want UT out in the first round? I, I want Col I want UT to lose to a yeah, toothpaste send company. Home. I, I want UT to lose to a toothpaste company. I will verbal like meme. I'm up. going to create an environment so toxic. If <laughs> UT loses to a toothpaste company, I will. I, I will that would have, be great for us. I will man. call Elon and say deactivate my Twitter because this is about to be a nightmare for everyone involved. What you think? That would be I, so great. Even I if Baylor this, loses, I wouldn't even care. This week care. at that point. Okay, Baylor losing to Iowa State. And we'll, we're going to jump into UCSB. Which time? Time, by the way. Sorry, which the, time? Sorry. The, the latest. That happens a lot. Can we the move on from me? Iowa State? <laughs> Drake, we luckily, I'm tired of being <laughs> Iowa State <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl. We get okay? to. We get to. Uh, the, the great thing about that, Baylor's been in its own bed for four nights. Baylor has had practice on its own that. floor. There, to me, I started to realize this weekend as I'm watching Duke and Virginia duke it out huh, in the ACC championship. Who cares? 
Who yeah. on God's earth cares about this game? Because the winner gets nothing. The loser gets nothing. So Texas beat Kansas by 20. Guess what that did to Kansas? Nothing. Nothing. All it did was mean that Texas played 40 full minutes of hard basketball for two extra days compared to Baylor. So take that when you get to Colgate. And before we get to the UCSB Gauchos, I'll tell everybody at home about my one of my favorite sponsors, my favorite sponsor to eat because I don't eat a lot of fan duel. It's Built Bar. Built Bar Madness is here. Yeah, there's a bracket for that. We know you have a favorite Built Bar puff. I do. Mine's the coconut one, coconut almond. So I'll be voting for coconut almond right now at the Built Bracket for March Madness at BuiltMarchMadness.com. Vote for your favorites right now. When you vote for your favorite bar or puff, you'll be entered into a drawing for a free box of Built. 50 lucky locked on listeners get fit free boxes, a free box. I don't think 50 of them. Not only that, but one locked on fan will win a 12 month subscription to built to have the built best bars or puffs delivered monthly straight to your door built bar right now. It's for you. It's built bar. You can go get it and vote for it and stuff like that. If they're built bar, March madness bracket as well. And by March madness, I mean, it's just built bar flavors built.com. Guys, uh, did you see the, I think this is awesome too. There are those new bobbleheads, the cutting the net bobbleheads, 55 bucks, five inches, cutting the net bobbleheads, zero all uh, FOCO, who I didn't know. has a ton of really cool Baylor stuff too. I've got some good FOCO stuff in the past. The cutting the mm-hmm. net deal is pretty mm-hmm. dope. I was not, I don't know what I was expecting for the cutting the net thing, but this is far and away the best Baylor bobblehead that I've seen come out of March Madness because there have been some other really bad bobbleheads. That's an aside. What's not an aside is UC Santa Barbara Banana Slugs, who, Brandon, are the 302nd fastest team in America. They are do they, not. Are they the Banana Slugs? Oh, they're the Gauchos. Sorry. What's the, Santa who's Cruz, Banana Cruz, my man. Santa, Santa Cruz. Cruz. Gosh, dang it. S- mm. My wife applied there. UC Santa Cruz, by the way. She wanted to be a Banana I, Slug. Did it take a while for them to get back to her? Uh, <laughs> get it? It's a slug, it's a slug yes. Brandon. Yes, it's yes. Slug. So, uh, can, can, I could have made a gun joke. I could have kept on with the Alabama John Morant. Mm, could have done mm-hmm. a gun joke with the slug, but I'm not gonna. I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, you wouldn't yes. have got a tech. Wouldn't um, do it. Uh, so, Sorry, Drake. Back to the Gauchos. The Gauchos. They're not. They're not a. Oh, look. It's the cutting the net bobblehead mini. <laughs> oh scene. my god, this is all <laughs> only, over the place. Trent. Only two hundred and twenty-three of them available at Foco right now. It's on my Twitter. Go click the link. It's a cool ass bobblehead. Oh, and Baylor's playing. But UCSB. cool butt bobblehead. If I can't say he- hell, you can't say ass. Brandon, this team's slow and they don't like to score. I think Baylor's going to win this game by so many points. It's not even funny. And you don't think that why? No, I didn't say that they weren't going to win no. by so many points. What I did say is that they have a guy. Well, I said that they have some guys you need to be concerned about just from like a length and size standpoint. Their primary score guard, AJ, uh, AJ Mitchell, is a 6'5 like true wing but he's their primary guy with the ball in his hands and Way i just see average. a ton a ton pretty much all of their points so all like 52 of them in <sighs> him like iso on a smaller guard or on flow and me just being like why can't we stop this guy which i think we've seen all season so when a player fits that mold i just automatically get concerned but i still think we're gonna win for all the reasons that you guys have said i just like to call out the the talent when i see it cam did the gauchos shut scare up. you at all shut up um no not really and it's for a concerning reason drake because i think uh why looking at them both uh on the depth chart and in the numbers they do remind me of baylor in some ways (laughs) in some ways they do especially the way they start their lineup it's a three guard set and they've got two forwards who are okay okay um and the big difference, though, is they are a lot slower, and uh, that that really adds to the point of they haven't faced a defense as good as one you're going to see in the Big 12 no. because they're so slow in pace. You you tweeted it out last night. I don't remember the numbers on that. Um, but they do have a good true shooting percentage, which means they're just finding good shots against probably not very good defenses. So I still like Baylor in this game by quite a bit. But I think um, the guy there, Kelly, is is more like the kid from Oklahoma State than he is like Mike Miles. Yeah. So I am hoping that that definitely goes Baylor's way and it's not Mike Miles just getting to the paint and getting layups on them like he did the first time we played TCU this year. So that's why I like Baylor because they 
look like a poor man's Baylor out there. Hmm. Here, if, if you're a UC Santa Barbara gaucho, not slug there fan. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that is listening. And you want some sort of good news or a Baylor fan that thinks, oh, these guys are blowing hot air. There's no way it's going to be this big of a blowout. We get here, that a lot, by the way. We get that I a hear lot. Every Too positive on this podcast. I hear a <laughs> lot. The people, that's the feedback. <laughs> yes. Drake tolls Twitter far too positive. Yeah. I, t- I don't tweet enough, honestly. Some people you don't. I'd like upset. some more thoughts from you. I'd like want some more takes. All of my thoughts. Uh, here is here's some stats that I've got garnered from UC Santa Barbara that would that could that scare me a little bit. At the rim frequency. UC Santa Barbara loves to get the ball inside. They are 37th in America at finishing at the rim. Baylor. Why, that percentage is good, man. Baylor, 317th in America at guarding the rim. That's not good. Out of UC how many Santa teams Bar- again, Drake? Just remind the listeners. 363. IUPUI will be leaving 362 soon. UC Santa Barbara, their off-screen frequency is 48. Baylor defending the off-ball screen, 158. Not great. UC Santa Barbara, they cut at a rate of 57 overall in America. Baylor defends a cut at 345. And last but not least, this one's the worst one. UC Santa Barbara, they ball screen. Their ball screen frequency is in the top third in the country. Baylor, 350th in this nation at guarding the ball screen. UC sounds Santa like Barbara. TCU without Mike Miles, by the way. It, it is. UC I've heard Santa that Barbara. take somewhere. I, mean, I have. That's what it sounds like to me. It, it's also very similar to how Creighton plays. Like where, where UC Santa Barbara Creighton's excels – is where Creighton excels in those areas of trying to get the ball to the rim, only shoot outside if you're open. And if if you see Santa Barbara is able to cut through the Baylor defense, which I don't know if you guys know this, most teams have been able to do so. That could go poorly for Baylor. However, however, UCSB's most quality win was against UC Riverside. So, or nice. Irvine. What is, the, what is their mascot? Um, Anything? Is it Irvine's the anteaters? Yeah, Irvine is. I don't know what Riverside's is. We'll 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 look at that up. Yeah, we're we're a very pro UC UC podcast here, so we'll be sure to give all of them their shout outs. uh, People are thinking about the hoity toities at Cal, you know, and their great basketball tradition and the awesome year they had. But you know, I just want to give some love to UCSB and UCI and UCR and. Portland and all the way is over there. <laughs> yeah. You see San Diego. Has Cal Poly. ever done anything in basketball? Cal Poly. Uh, they'll come around sometime. Cal Poly actually a decent ball club. Slow. Yeah. Slow spotty for sure. Um, you guys keep talking about Creighton and how UCSB plays like Creighton. Why is going to be an issue? So silly when when, when NC State, State beats <laughs> Creighton, I want to get the band back together and I want to just chat about this. But this is not locked on NC State. So you know what? Um, funny, funny aside, actually, because my dad thinks uh, State could win because he said that Baylor would possibly be playing a team in the college basketball tournament that isn't even a college, and he's referring to NC State because when the bulldozer was at Duke, they used to have a chant that says, "If you can't go to college, go to state. If you can't go to state, go to jail." So he refers to them as a non-college team. So that'll be an interesting matchup. Which is it, also passed on the tradition to you of continuing to get into legal matters and law enforcement. Correct. And jail. Yes. Correct. Correct. So, Mainly uh, from this podcast. Yes. I um I'll give you guys I'll give you guys this. They are bad that are, my only highlights are asides, man. The mm. only uh, clippable portions of me talking are asides. Your aside has at least led to some analytics. Uh, I, mine are censoring Drake and calling him out for <laughs> then censoring me. So this is good. I get called out a lot for not tweeting enough, usually. Um mm-hmm. I or for saying things that aren't true about a player being injured. Hmm. Um, you had a fun time with that one, Drake. The it literally the, was in 3D glasses on the sideline. <laughs> it wasn't 3D glasses. Those glasses looked awesome. Look, I think yes. you're right, Drake. But the season is not over, by the way. That's a great like, point. What if I just meant regular point. season? And nobody asks questions. Nobody asks that's a, questions. That's, I was gonna say it's gonna be a great revisionist thing to put out there. But also, it said that's could be, good. could be out for the season. It's day to day. That's last, also true. That's last also update true. I got. People forget. Was, was day to day. Last update I got. From Remember my when LJ guy. was day to day all last all, season? Yeah. All conference last. That's what I love. I, all the clown tweets. Yeah, it's day to day. Now what? He's in 3D glasses on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. They might come back in a half hour. Um, Cam, thanks to your little aside about NC State, I did look up per shot quality, which, by the way, my roommates, uh, they hate that the words shot and quality together because since the brackets have released, so it's like, oh, here he goes talking about his dad again. It's shot quality. All right. But I live and die by it. And Creighton, 
projected 74 points, NC State at 70 points, a four-point game according to shot quality. And again, this is a this is a what a 6-11 game. So wouldn't be there's some separation there. Uh, NC State 45th best team in America according to their site. And if Baylor's to play NC State, Baylor projected score 76 to 68. NC State does not scare me. Again, past this Creighton team, I don't think there are a lot of teams. Boom. There are a lot of teams right here, especially that I think, oh, shoot, I really don't want to play X, Y, and Z. I watched you Arizona just, against UCLA in the Pac 12 championship and they looked buns. Give me any of these guys, not named Creighton, and I'm happy. Yeah, you can't scare me with the ACC unless Dude. maybe it's Virginia. Missouri. That Duke is hot. Duke Missouri is hurt. Virginia is hurt. Cold. Uh, I don't know. Who did they lose to the SEC tournament? Bama. Okay. What <laughs> Who do they team? have? Yeah. <laughs> couple of felons couple shooters um what does shot quality have baylor and ucsb at i'm curious what's our number that we're trying to back our way into so baylor ucsb current projected score bears 73 ucsb 63 so 10 point spread i haven't seen by the way time of recording i haven't seen a spread for this one that but is a rat line you've seen the tip off time Oh, I haven't I seen a tip off have. time it's probably time will by the time y'all release when do those yeah when do those like release that? denver we're in denver right yeah. Cheap flight. Where's the rest of this played? That means we're going to be playing at night. That's that's going to be like a 940. Test. Yeah. So the first one's Eastern, first round's in Denver. So Where's the next one? Uh, I think the Elite Eight and Sweet 16's in Louisville. Oh. It's lovely this time of year. I think we should Grand, Grand Canyon is playing uh, at, in, in Denver as well. So Scott and Bryce will both Scott be together. In the same city again. I had a bar last night about a... a Co- uh, a yeah, team coached by a Drew embarrassing a Gonzaga team that I was that excited was about. That, that would be a good bar. narrative. That, that would be nice. Um, all right, guys. We're going to wrap this one up so, Brandon, you can get to your prior, your other appointments that you have here. Speaking of wrapping this one up, they're going to wrap it up real it's nicely. all my Pope fault, brother. In, they're going to wrap it up in uh, pop the pop foil stuff to make sure that your mm. bobblehead does not break. Cutting the net. Folks. I like that. I appreciate that. Bobble mini scene. Only 223 left. They are they're going fast at FOCO. Link on my Twitter. I'm Drake Toll. It's Brandon. How did they back into that 223 number? Uh, I think they just skipped the zero in the thousand and thought we probably won't sell two thousand. Like 22, 23. Um, and that's Cameron Stewart from Sports Illustrated. Can I do a quick aside about my dad? Because it's funny you mentioned the bubble wrap thing. He sent down my (laughs) girlfriend's Christmas present and like the least amount of packing you could. It was like a, it's like one of those glass, like not glass, you know, like ceramic snowman thing with yeah, a light yeah. in it, like a candle right. in it. It's um, birthday present or Christmas it's present? Christmas. It's smashed, bro. Like it's smashed so bad. <laughs> and I was like, I know you're not like a decor guy. I'm not either, but you're like 65. How did you not know that was just going to get destroyed? <laughs> by the postal service with nothing. I mean, he put like a roll of newspaper around it. And Certain it age. just got destroyed. Grace tried so one hard to super on there. glue He's it. Like, this will do it. it was, wow. Oh, it's a it. fantastic bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> Drake told bulldozer, Cameron Stewart, Brandon McKinnon, Baylor, UCSB on Friday. What time? God only knows. This has been. Smash them good. like the ceramic snowman, Baylor. Lock. Down with the gauchos. (laughs) Thanks for making your first one every single day. And the banana slugs, too. Yeah, and all the UCs.